yeah, can we relate? Uh, ooh, can we relate? Ooh, yeah, can we debate? Ooh, yeah, but I want debate. Ooh, yeah, I talk to Kate. Yeah, ay, all about Kate. Yeah, ay, can we relate? Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Clamps back with another video, alright? In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the rarest but good build in NBA 2K20, alright? So this build is called a two-way three-point shot creator. I've never seen this build in the park before, but I know how to make it, alright? So first off, the position we need, we need a point guard, alright? And for the hand, we can do either hand, jersey number, obviously that doesn't matter. We're going to go with 99, alright? To continue. So, for the first pie chart. It is a shot creator and a three-point shooter, but it's also a defender. So we're going to want the defensive and uh, shooting pie chart. This pie chart right here, okay? On to the next pie chart. For this pie chart, we want the all-bounced-out pie chart, all right? So I know you guys probably don't think this is what we need, but this is what we need, all right? So we're going to go with this pie chart right here. All right? And for the potential. So look. Our close shot, we need this at a 76. Do not max it all the way out, we need a 76, all right? Driving layup, also at a 76, max it all the way out. Driving dunk, 77, that's gonna get you good dunks. Trust me, this build is godly. Just wait, just wait though. So we got a 43 standing dunk and post hook, put this at a 36, okay? 36, mid range shot, we're gonna put this all the way to a 70. Not super high, but high enough. Three point, max it all the way out to an 80. All right, and then the free throw, max it all the way out to an 88. Post fade, 79, all right. And then for playmaking, we're not gonna max this out all the way. We're gonna put this at a 74, the pass accuracy. All right, then ball handle, max out all the way out though. Post moves, do not touch it, all right? Do not touch it at all. So as you can see from that, right now, what we have, we have six finishing, 16 shooting, seven playmaking. And we haven't got to defensive yet. And we still have 132 badge upgrades, all right? So look, this is simple. Perimeter defense, max it all the way out because we need, we're a two-way. We obviously need to play defense, okay? And for the lateral quickness, max it to an 83, all right? And steal, we want to max that out also, all right? But then we want to skip over these two right here and just put the rest on defensive rebound, all right? Because defensive is way better than offense if you're the one dribbling, shooting, all that kind of stuff. You have no reason to do offense, okay? So as you can see, we have six finishing, 16 shooting, seven playmaking, and 19 defensive badges. That's already looking amazing, okay? So, now this next part, we wanna put this on slight, or whatever you wanna do, it doesn't really matter, but I'm gonna put it on slight. But listen, so this part right here, this is the part that's probably gonna make you click off this video, but trust me, do not click off this video, all right? This build, if you want it to be the godliest of godliest builds, this build is almost better than the two-way slashing playmaker, all right? What you need to do, you need to put his height down to a 6'2", okay? Trust me, do not think this build is bad. You have to have him on his 6'2 to make him good, okay? Trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me. I would not lie to you guys about this. You have to have him on 6'2", okay? And for the weight, we're gonna keep this the same, okay? So look at this, we still have a 76 close shot, driving dunk, and a layup, 70, 76, okay? And we have a uh, three point shot of an 80. You need a, you pretty much need a 70, 60 around that area to be able to shoot, and we have an 80, okay? And then we have really good defense. This build pretty much can do everything. It, it can do everything, it's not, yeah, it can do everything, all right? And for the wingspan, what we need, we need 70, we're gonna max it, we're gonna put it all the way down so we get better shooting. So look at that, now we have an 83 three point and a 72 mid range shot. This build is godly. I'm telling you guys this right now, this build is godly, okay? And on for this, this is, you can do whatever you want, it's up to you, but um, I'm gonna go probably with, um, with spot up shooter, okay? So now, we should have made a two-way three-point shot creator, all right? So this build is ja the Kevin Johnson. Don't know who the heck they are. But yeah, let's uh, let's test this build. Let's get these badges. I'll show you guys the best badges for this build, all right? All uh, right, this doesn't matter. I'm just going to max it all the way out, though. So here, our finishing. What we need here, 
We need contact finisher gold. And we need giant slayer gold, alright? That is all you need for finishing, right there. Those two badges will make it godly. I'm telling you guys. This build is going to be the best build you ever make. Trust me. After this, you make this build, you will never need another build that's a guard, okay? You can make big man, but uh, this is the best guard build in the game right now, alright? So on to the shooting. Listen, look. On to the shooting. What we need here, we need... Catch and shoot silver, alright? Then we need dead eye gold. Alright. So as you can see, we do get Hall of Fame shooting badges, which is amazing. So we're gonna put Hot Zone Hunter, Hall of Fame. We're gonna put Range Extender Gold. Alright. Then we need quick draw gold. This is up to you. You can do either, either gold. I'm I usually shoot on Hall of Fame. But uh we're gonna put this on green machine though, alright? So there is your shooting badges. If you do not want these shooting badges, you can always rearrange them. But these are the best shooting badges to go on this build right here, okay? Next, on to the playmaking. What we need here. We definitely need quick first step gold, okay? Then we need unpluckable gold. And then we put the rest on handles for days. So we get a, uh, we get a bronze handles for days. So look at this. You can also rearrange these how you want them. But I think these are the best badges for this build right here okay for this build all right now on to the most important part defense okay so for defense we want to put chase on artist silver i know we're 6-2 but trust me chase on artist silver is tr just just put it on all right and then for clamps put this hall of fame obviously all right and then intimidator hall gold you can put it on hall of fame but for me it's, I would just put on gold for now, all right? Interceptor, uh, put that on gold also. And then pick dodger, you definitely need this on Hall of Fame. No matter what build you are as a guard, you need pick dodger Hall of Fame, okay? Because those big guys get really annoying when they set screens. I, I'm one of those big men. But still, put make sure you put pick dodger Hall of Fame, okay? And for the rest, you can honestly put it on Intimidator and... Um, I'm going to put the rest on pickpocket, all right? Because we are a two-way, and um, yeah, that's what I think, okay? So there we go. That's what we have. Or we can put pickpocket. Instead of that, we can put defensive leader. But I don't know. It's up to you guys. But I would choose pickpocket. So there you go. That is our defensive badges that you need for this build right here, okay? So look. This build is godly. I'm telling you guys right now. This build is godly. Alright, so if you guys find this helpful, make sure you like and subscribe, turn notifications on. I will be streaming sometime today, tomorrow, every day. We are on a road to monetization. Monetization. We are 200 hours away. Alright, thank you guys for watching. That's all I got for you guys today. I'll see you guys later. Peace.